Now that you are finally here, let's begin. Cleopatra has reported the matter to me, which I will now throw to you both to decide your punishments. She said you both have been spying on her, and as a result of this, her anxiety has increased. Her heart rate has been faster, and she has been unable to sleep well at night. I will not accept this unruly behavior, so I have decided to punish you both by throwing you out of my house. What? Luckily for you both, Cleopatra has pleaded on your behalf because she needs you to keep working for her in this house. However, there shall be a punishment. Over to you, Cleopatra. Let me go straight to the point. Without my permission, both of you are hereby prohibited from entering, checking, spying, any other room apart from the one both of you share. Most especially, the kitchen. I don't want to see you in the living room either. Am I understood? Yes, ma. Am I understood? Yes. Good. Now go upstairs to your room. Mama Ojo, fix me something to eat. A few moments later. I've been looking everywhere for you. Good afternoon, young man. Do I know you? You don't remember me? We met a few days ago, and you told me there is someone making bad moves against my family. Yes, I remember. Okay, so now what do you want? Sir, the witch has taken full control of our home. She's controlling my dad and using my mom as a house help. She has told them against each other. Like I have said, you would have to sow a seed before... Sir, I'm ready to sow. Please, help my parents. Okay, wait. Who is even this woman you are accusing and how do you know she's a witch? She just moved into our home a few days ago and she has brainwashed my father into forgetting that my mom is his real wife. Even my mom cannot reason clearly anymore. Hmm. But that's not enough reason to call her a witch. What if she's just a better cook or there's something she does better than your mother? Prophet, one midnight, I saw her disappear into a bowl. Hmm. Bita kira fama shedami, lalila fidadika fira fama sodami rami. How many times have you seen her disappearing into the bowl? Two times. Hey! She mustn't disappear into that bowl the whole time. Else, your family is gone forever. Jesus! What do you mean, Prophet? She will take possession of their body, spirit, and their soul. Prophet. Okay. Uh... Give me a minute. I'll be back. Sing! You see this anointing oil? There's just one of it. Is either you pour it into the bowl she's disappearing into, or rather, you sprinkle it on her body. You can have it. Peace be unto you. Prophet, are you sure? Affliction shall not rise a second time. Go! The Lord is with you. Thank you, Prophet. A few minutes later. Mama, I want you to do the honor of saving this family. Take. What is this? I met a prophet today and told him about Cleopatra. And he gave me this anointing oil and told me it will solve our problem. Mama, can you just trust me for once? Ojo, I do not want to involve myself with that woman. I am scared of her. Scared? Okay, Mama. I'll do it myself. 
But when I'm done, you have to thank me for saving this family. Three twenty-eight a.m. Nothing I can do. Move. I don't want to ever see your feet in this house again. Daddy, I don't have anywhere else to go. That is none of my business. She gave you a simple instruction and you disobeyed. This is the repercussion. Leave. Move. 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 Mama. Ojo. You are next in line. If you dare disobey me, you will join your son on the streets. Femi, can't you feel it? Feel what? The heavy force making you do things you don't want to do. The only thing I feel is love for that woman. So if you like, do not listen to what she says. You'll be out of this house. Hey! I am me to me by me. Later that same evening. I have to make sure she doesn't disappear into the water at the third time. I can't let her control my parents. Ojo, you have to do something. 3.28 a.m. want to fight. We don't want to kill each other.
enough. A few moments later. What? What's going on here? You don't know her? Know who? Daddy, you introduced her to us as your new wife. Wife? Daddy, it's okay. It's not your fault. She bewitched you. Wife. So you wanted to destroy my home? <laughs> Mama, please, calm down. Everything is under control. The police are here already. Please, take her away. I hope I've been able to make up for all the troubles and pain I've caused you both in the past. I just saved your lives. So I deserve some accolades. Can't you say thank you? Thank you. It is very shameful for you to accept that. Mama, what about you? Mama, this is not a time to start feeling proud. I just saved your life. I'm very stupid and very foolish. Now, you will have to save your own life. Ah, How many times will they tell you? So you can do this here. You can do this here. You can do this here. My I was stupid. <laughs> to snap him, we don't really snap him. So we are really laughing. Sorry. By the time I'm true with you, you know what I'm made up of. Hey God. Well, but... Greetings to my sisters in the Marine Kingdom. Greetings to my sisters in the Marine World. The rulers of the sea and the ocean. Hmm. That's not enough reason to call her a witch. What if she's a better cook than, than your mother? Oh God. <laughs> what if she's a better cook than something she's not better than your mother? Oh Jesus. But that's not enough reason to call her a witch. What if she cooks? Oh God. <laughs> I don't want peace. I want problems. 